So for the last time in Season 5, we're here at Brands Hatch for Round 12, the final race, and it all comes down to this, as we always say. And it's Jake versus Ben versus Nathan with about 6 points or 7 points between them. And BTCC Blueprints have supported us this season, we thank them again. The winner will receive a mug and some stickers, so all up for grabs. Wheels on pole with a controversial move in the last race. Brian second, Alex, Ash, then it's Andrew, Rob, uh, Jeff, uh, Leon, Liam, Chris, Adam, Nathan, first championship contender Sean, Ben and Jake the other two on the back row. So let's see how they get on. Controversial with Will by the way was because he decided to slow down and take the last position to gain the pole for this reverse grid. I'm sure that'll be looked at for next season but the revs are up and we're ready for a start for the last time in season 5. Will surely will be a favourite for this race if he can get away well. It looks like he has. Brian's got a good start as well but Alex is already starting to gain on him as they go into Paddock Hill Bend for the last 12 laps of the season. And Alex has already taken the position. Brian's already getting shuffled back. He doesn't have pace around this track, unfortunately. And Andrew up the inside, and he's knocked Alex wide, but he's got the position. And a bit of contact further back between Leon, and it looked like Liam was involved in that as well. Chris is down the grass, comes back on, but just holds on, and Liam's round. And that's a disaster for him, and that's race over for him already. It's way back. Let's see what happened, if we can we continue on down the back straight they come and already well up we can see Jake's coming through with Sean it looks like Sean and Nathan as well so Nathan and Sean side by side again like they were in the last race Sean down the inside tries to get Jake as well but can't and Nathan's gonna go around the outside and keep the position by looks of it yes through Sheens they come, this is always dodgy when there's a lot of grouping and that's Jeff off again on that corner, ooh and that's caused a multiple car collision Adam's off and Brian's off again and more contact down the straight that looked like, uh, it looked like it was Jake that was going sideways who did well to hang on to that, Jeff finally gets off the grass and rejoins in 13th place Adam off again at the last corner and he's dropping back badly Ben's fighting with Nathan in the background and there's a bit of contact between the two not much and that's put Ben in the gravel at Paddock and that is the championship over for him if there was any doubt before there isn't now that's him out of the championship and he's hit by Brian as well as he comes back on Brian didn't quite react there but uh, damage for Ben and that's well you've got a feeling now it's between Jake and Nathan for this championship but Jake's got a car or two cars between them it was just the slightest of contact between Ben and Nathan and off went Ben. Adam's wide again. He's uh, redesigning the racetrack to d in this third race. And he doesn't like that barrier. So he's moved that back. And well that would maybe give Ben some hope. He needs to try and race through this field now. And if we can get Adam that's one down. So he's ahead of Brian and he's ahead of Adam. Brian looks like he's gone off again. And yeah, again, I can confirm now that Brian will be down to the McGann's next season, unfortunately. But Brian, everyone loves him. He loves racing, doesn't care where he finishes. But these do, these guys do. And that's Liam off again as well. So everyone's struggling with grip in this early stages of this race. And Ben's going to have to really charge who wants a chance of this. Brian looks like he's parked that one. So Will's leading and he's got a big lead already. And it's ahead of Ashley and... Andrew and these two are fighting to stay up for the final place then it's Rob who's got is that Jake already behind him as so he will come through Paddock Liam looking to get past Alex can he send one up the inside looks like he's going to Alex gives room and doesn't fight it and shortly I have Ben behind him as well So drama at the start of this race as Ben's championship crumbles. It's down to Nathan and Jake now. And there's only one car between them, and the, but that is Sean. And Sean won't care about Nathan's championship. That's for certain. 
and they're quite way back from that anyway Nathan trying to go around the outside of Sean he needs to get this done and get after Jake and like I say Sean won't care Sean now Nathan down the inside has he got it done he needed to do that and he's done it brilliant move now he needs to go after Jake Nathan trying to erase the memory of a season ago when he lost the championship in the final race he's trying to win the championship in the final race Ben who stole it that day isn't going to steal it to this day but he has caught Alex and he'll try and get as many positions as he can Alex won't be easy to overtake though if he's in the mood he let Liam pass though so he'll be hoping for an easy route as he goes out of uh, Clark Curve and now heading down the front straight can he make the move down into the first corner and he does gets that done and up into 12th and the next victim hopefully for his sake will be Liam back to lead though and L well Will has got the whole length of the bottom straight so I think we can safely say he's got this as Jake goes off that's Jake off and that would be music to the ears of uh, Nathan who's closed in he needed that and now he can set about getting past Jake and he needs to get past Jake and overtake those guys in front and hope that Jake does not make the progress and well Chris as well trying to fight back can't get past Leon though Ben already on to the back of Liam but here is Jake with Nathan on the back of him and this is for the championship so this is crucial stuff Nathan just has to get past and then get after those guys in front and put some cars between him and and Jake and hope that's enough for the championship Jake's had a brilliant day so far he's got himself into the lead of the championship but Nathan would be desperate not to lose another one on the last day but who's that off that's Rob oh, he just about comes back on misses Leon I think was at the back or was it Sean <coughs> yeah it was Sean Chris stuck him down the inside of Leon at the paddock and he should get that done and does Leon gives him room Ben meanwhile down the inside of Liam who's lagging slightly and that's Ben up to 11th place I think Liam's had enough today to be honest because normally he'd fight that harder but Will is away with this and he is going to win this race unless he makes a mistake and he was desperate to win a touring car race so if he can do it it'll be over the moon but Jake trying to attack Andrew but at the same time he knows he's got Nathan all over him Nathan now with a good run out, the, out of that corner out of the 30s and he's going to get a little bit of slipstream from Andrew but now Andrew's holding him up down the straight and he's not going to get around the outside of a touring car driver but Nathan's going to try it and he's tried this before and it's not worked and it well it might work this time he's holding on it depends how much Jake wants to let him through and the answer's not so unlucky for Nathan he needs to get this done still got half the race to go though as the rest file through but Will's in a class of one at the moment he's going to literally win this race by half a lap if he carries on like this Ashley if he can take second place that will confirm his staying in the league Andrew's got issues though he's got these two all over him and Nathan really should have taken a position there he's up the inside of Jake but he just backed out of it and now can he get it done into the first corner surely he can now and he's past Jake and he wants to go past Andrew at the same time Ooh, that's a bit greedy he does get it done though it's a bit untidy but he's got it done and he's ahead of Jake and that is important now for the championship that will give Nathan a good chance but he needs to go and overtake a few more cars Ben now onto the back of Rob. And now Jake's instantly, well, he's, he's retaliating. He's straight back up the inside of Nathan. That tells you how much he wants it. <coughs> he doesn't want to lose the championship to Nathan. Retakes really the position. Ben does get past Rob. And, well, Nathan will have to try again. They are starting to home in on Ashley. Ashley be looking at his mirror going, oh great, here they come. Unfortunately for him, it's Jake, Nathan and Sean, probably the, well, three of the fastest guys in the league. Home and down on Ashley. 
but at the moment he's in great position although there is Andrew Andrew's disqualification from race two has probably ruined his chances see Ben past Rob with Liam closing in Adams there Alex just off the back and not having a great day and Jeff's car looks like it's been in World War three and uh, doesn't look like he's gonna have a very good race but you can see how much Jake's taken out of Ashley it's gonna be a matter of another lap before he catches him or maybe half a lap or maybe just one corner because he's there Ashley a bit tight into that corner got on the curb now Jake is well positioned to try and take that position of second place just to give you an idea Will is already halfway down the back straight and there he is <laughs> he's literally walking this there's no way Jake's going to catch him now as Chris indulges in a bit of uh, drifting and here we go Jake trying to go around the outside of Ashley that's brave let's see has he got it done Ashley's holding on but Jake's got the speed around the outside and takes the position so you can do that there Nathan tries it on but all oh, a bit of contact it looked like the back end of Ashley's car stepped out and that's put Nathan into the gravel and that is now surely his championship over especially these guys come through and they have Chris and Leon get past and he is not going to gain that place back. He's not going to gain that time back. He's now going to have to hope that Jake has a disaster. And you can see there's nothing really in it. Back end of Ashley's car just tapped the back end of uh, Nathan's car as he turned in. And, well, these two getting through was probably the nail in that coffin of his championship. So Jake's looking well positioned now. We know how fast he is. So unless Nathan can drop these two straight away, I just can't see him coming back at him. So Will on his merry way, probably writing his memoirs as he destroys this field, <laughs> pulls away. Doesn't look like Sean can keep up with Jake, Jake's starting to edge away. And that is Chris up the inside of Leon, so Chris having a good race again. Definitely one of the biggest improvements this season. He was good at Brands on his debut, I think he actually got a podium on his debut here at Brands. Leon with Nathan all over the back of him. Andrew's arrived on the scene as well. And Ben's there as well. So Ben's flying up through this field right now. Up into ninth place. Remember he was last after that spin. And he's bringing along Liam and Adam in his wake. But Will's got this in the bag on lap 8. Absolutely no problem about that. Can Sean catch Jake? Doesn't look like it. Ash is going to be pretty happy with fourth if he can hold that. But again, now Chris is flying and we know Chris has got great pace. Leon's got Nathan all over him. Nathan will be desperate to get that done and now he's looking at Sheen. But that again, as, as we saw earlier, is not an overtaking position unless you're completely alongside the, the guy in front. Andrew as well would be desperate to make up for the disappointment of race two being disqualified. He's got Ben catching him quickly in the other Toyota livery car. Through the last corner again they come across the sh straight again into lap nine they start so it's quarter distance to go. And Ben trying to go around the outside of Andrew. I'm not sure if that's going to work. But he holds on to it. Andrew goes see through. And Ben does pull it off around the outside. Adam into the gravel in the background. And uh, that's pretty much every corner he's tested the gravel out now in this race. Not his best race, but uh, he's had great pace all day. Meanwhile, <laughs> in a racetrack not far from here, Will's got this in the bag, as we've mentioned. Jake's looking like seconds nailed down because uh, uh, Sean's not able to go with him and well Jake fastest lap last time through as well that is extremely rapid at 27.6 that's uh, pretty good let's say but Jake's not going to catch Will no matter how hard he tries Nathan still hasn't got past Leon and now Ben is there on the scene after getting rid of Andrew and now, now Nathan's doing it down the inside at Sheens he's done it but it's probably a lap or two too late Leon out of Sterling's got a good run on Nathan. He's not giving up. He look down the inside. Willie at Clark Kerpno to the outside. And they look for a switch back onto the pit straight. Which he has got. 
Well, good driving by Leon. He's made the move there. Ben's right behind him now. Gives him a little nudge on the straight as well to get him alongside Nathan. And he's got alongside Nathan. Nathan's, they've had a little bit of contact. Nathan's off into the gravel. And Ben's through. So the tactics have worked. Ben's used that before with Leon to get past Will at Monza. And it was worked again there. Just give him a little, little nudge on the straight. Gets him in position. And, well, there's a little bit of contact. Much like what happened to Ben before and what is this all about more sh supermarket trolley action and Adam's off on that corner as well now um, I know we have rally cross at Brands Hatch but this is ridiculous Will still leading away Jake second and he'll just settle for that now or default because he's well ahead of Sean quite a way ahead of Sean so Sean maybe making made a mistake but Chris is homing in on him Chris doing his personal best lap last time through. Ash looks pretty happy in fifth. Ben sixth now with Leon seventh. And he's got another car, and that's Leon. And it's into Surtees. And nice move up the inside. Covers the uh, exit as well, so Leon can't get a cut back. And Ben up to sixth from the back. So he's done everything he can, but he's going to need a mistake from Jake to g have any chance of winning the championship. And it'll have to be a big mistake from Jake as well. He's homing in on Ash na next, so real aggression in the driving today on this last race. As Adam thinks about another gravel trap that he can explore, like a kid on the beach. Ashley locks up, and Leon's got Nathan behind him again. This looks like it could be interesting. Liam up the inside of Andrew gets that done. Great move. Although he's gone wide and a bit of contact from Rob up the back of Andrew into Liam's put Liam wide. And Andrew retakes position but Liam will have the inside for Graham Hill Ben. Oh a bit of contact. And a bit more contact and that spat uh, Rob off. And he's hit Le uh, Adam who just about survives I think. But a big accident. Let's see what happens. Liam gets up the inside. Probably breaks a bit too late. Goes a bit wide. And then Rob up the back of Andrew pushes Liam even further wide. And then down into the bottom corner at Graham Hill Bend. There's contact between Andrew and Liam. And then Rob up the back of Liam. And then Adam punts him and he's off. And it was all the Rob's doing really. <laughs> but uh, great recovery. Adam changes his underwear and comes back on in 11th place. And what was that side by side? Was that Nathan getting past Leon? It looked like it was. For some reason we've not looked at that though. Just have to look at the tower and see what happens. No, Nathan's not got past. But uh, a lap and a... Well, just over a lap to go. Ooh, Jake, don't do that. But Jake is heading towards the championship. His first one with SBR in the BTCC, or in any category, I think it is. And it looks like he's going to do it. Ben now attacking Ashley for what will be fifth place. And there's battles all through the field, which we're going to have to try and cover on this last lap. But here is Jake. We're going to follow him as he heads towards the championship. And he's off. He's, he's done what Sean did. He's lost the back end. He's off the track and into the barrier. He'll have slight damage from that. But who's will he lose positions? Yes, yeah, Sean's gone through. Chris is there. But Ben and Ashley aren't close enough to take advantage. So Jake should still win this championship. But he's off again at the next corner. So obviously the damage having it's taken its toll. And obviously dirty tyres as well, so he won't have the grip. But he survives just. If that thing had got stuck in the wall, he'd have been in big trouble. As Ashley goes off the, uh, the uh, corner behind there. And this is why he's bent up the inside at Paddock, takes the position. Nathan at the same time is going up the inside of Leon. Into Druids we go. Leon's gone wide. Nathan's up the inside. Pushes Ashley wide a little bit. And then Leon's up behind. Ashley changes his line. Goes wide. And then further contact. And well Leon got a penalty for that one. And Ashley comes back on the track into the side of Liam. So Ashley received a warning for his uh, unsafe rejoin. Uh, Leon got a penalty of five seconds. And a warning for uh, pushing Ashley off. And uh, well. Dramatic end to this championship. Jake almost... Pretty much like when he won in the uh, British Touring Car Championship and knocked him almost threw it away on the last lap. And in fact, Chris has got past him as well. Chris getting a great exit. Probably still struggling with his tyres, Jake. And that's put Chris past him, but he's doing enough to win the championship. 
but it's Will's going to win the race that he wanted to win. He wanted to win in British Touring Cars with SBR, and it looks like he's going to do it. He's going to win the last round of SBR BTCC Blueprints Season 5, the class of 92, and fittingly it's the car that won the championship in 1992 that's going to win the last race of the season. Will wins for France, for BMW, <laughs> and for himself. Sean ends what's been a bit of a weird day with second place, so we'd be pleased to see out the season with a podium. Chris fittingly gets a podium, he's been fast all day and deserves that. And Jake will win the championship with fourth place, and he does it. Jake Hill wins the championship. Ben will come home fifth, ahead of Nathan who's sixth. Leon seventh. Liam will get eighth if he can get across the line with that penalty. Then it's Andrew ninth. Won't be enough for him to stay up. Tenth for uh, Adam eleventh. Ashley twelfth is going to be Alex. Thirteenth uh, is Rob. And fourteenth will be Jeff. And this is why Rob's thirteenth and not twelfth because I think he was uh, looking at his phone or something and he's gone off the track probably sending a, a, a gif a racist gif or something like that <laughs> he's allowed Alex through on the line <sighs> I shouldn't really say that but Jeff it is that's going to come home to take the final points and well he's not had a great day Jeff but he will survive and be in season 6 and that's all he's going to care about right now but Jake is the champion and he will have the number 1 plate on his car next season as he's joined by Sean in their team. Will wins the race very well. Brilliant result for him. Sean second. Chris third. Uh, Jake fourth. Ben fifth. Nathan sixth. Leon seventh. Good from him again. Eighth from Liam. Ninth is Andrew. Tenth is Adam. Eleventh for Ash. Twelfth for Alex. Jake fastest lap on lap eight. Thirteenth was Rob. Yep, that's what you get, mate, for sending a dirty uh, gif. 14th for Jeff, 15th for Brian. So, in the championship, Jake wins five points ahead of Nathan. Then it's Ben, then it's Sean, uh, Chris, Adam, Will, Liam only 8th this season. 9th Rob, despite all his histrionics. 10th for uh, Leon, who's been a really good improver this season. 11th for Jeff, despite all the uh, issues on the last day. 12th for Ashley, who survives quite easily in the end. And uh, 13th for Alex, who just about survives. And if uh, Andrew hadn't been disqualified, he might have stayed up. I'm not sure on the points, but Brian most definitely down. And Andrew will join him in the McGann series. And coming up will be Lewis, uh, Panos and Carl Brooks. Thanks again to BTCC Blueprints been a great sponsor and they've provided prizes of a mug and stickers to the winner which will be Jake Hill although Jake's promised to hand them out to other people next season we'll have tyre wear all the cars will be back and we'll have any livery you want so join us for season six thanks for watching